you guys. So today is Tuesday, April 16th of 2024. It's probably going to be a much shorter video today. Um, I have been working on a, um, oops, apparently that light didn't come on. <clears throat> I've been working on a legal case and so I have been focused on that, but I got it done. So I'm super excited. And now Hadid and I are going to go celebrate. Um, we're going to go to a restaurant and one of both of our favorite things is steak. So steak and potato for me and some salad with honey mustard dressing or ranch. Um, either one and I will be super happy. Um, oops, I need my purse. He's waiting in the car. <laughs> I wanted to grab um, the little notes that I had made you guys a while ago um, or that I had sent to you guys um, for Christmas one year. I don't know if you ever got them. So, one second. Sorry, I should have just paused it. But I didn't. Um, and make sure I lock the front door. Yep. So I grabbed the notes so I can read a few of them to you guys um, on the way to the restaurant. Well, gosh darn it. I've literally been talking for, <laughs> I feel you worn. You said that you had a bunch of video a bunch of footage and it just disappeared um I feel ya because I've been talking I'm pretty sure for the last 10 minutes and poof I just realized I never hit the record button I wonder what was recorded the first minute and a half I'll have to look at it I don't know um but we were talking about how my intention is to build up your um That's just really important right now because as I was sharing, and I have to remember like what I shared and what I didn't share, but your identity in the days ahead as well as even the current days are extremely important. And your identity isn't in who you are in the world, meaning like who your friends say you are, who you family says you are your identity is actually in the way who God says you are and we have we have a spirit about ourselves we have a human spirit and we also have the spirit of God within us those who were baptized with the Holy Spirit which you guys are so you have the Holy Spirit within you guys the Holy Spirit communicates with your human spirit and there are spirits that can try, they see, um, they see our human spirit and they see the authority, the identity and the power that we have through God. They see that on us. And so the enemy who has been around thousands of years, these spirits just keep on moving until God puts them in the pit of hell for eternity, they can see the authority and the identity who Jesus, who God says you are. And unfortunately, we don't know it. We don't realize how powerful and how much authority that we have through Jesus Christ. And so the enemy will keep trying to lie to us and deceive us directly to us but also through others around us um he'll try and use people to thwart or stop us realizing who we are our identity and authority i always tell people like the enemy has two missions <clears throat> the first mission is to keep you from receiving jesus christ the second mission is to keep you from doing what god already ordained from the beginning of time for you to do. Those are his two missions and immediately I, we can both check off right now that Warren and Clara um, and I believe 
believe Wyatt, you guys received Jesus Christ. You received him. So the enemy failed at number one. Number two, he's going to try and keep you from doing what God has given you. He's given you everything that you need through his power, the empowerment of his grace. He has given you everything through your, the authority that you have through Jesus Christ who did it all. And um, he's going to try and either shame you, condemn you, mock you, um, keep you from believing that you aren't who God created you to be. Because once you realize your authority and your identity, you're unstoppable. You are literally unstoppable because you know there's nothing the enemy can do. You just know, like even physically, <clears throat> there were times at the beginning of this that I felt scared. I felt unsafe. And then once the Lord got a hold of me and he showed me who I am, Oh, we're going to this place? Okay. Um, I totally changed. Like, I woke up and was like, holy cow, I realize who I am. And um, I wasn't scared. It was like, okay, God, I know you have my back. And I know that you will not allow the enemy to touch me. He just won't. God is the maker of the heavens and the earth. He is the one who controls everything. He was before time. He's living in us. He is not going to allow anything to happen to you guys or myself, me, or Hadid. Anybody who has submitted and surrendered to him. Even people who haven't. But it's more especially those who have surrendered and said, God, here I am, use me like Samuel did. He's just not. He will not let the enemy touch me, harm me. Um, there will be things that make me question. The Lord might allow things to happen to make me question my identity, my authority, and why things are happening the way they are. But he, he can't. He will stop the enemy. He cannot stop. He can't be stopped. He can't. Enemy. There we go. He can't be stopped by the enemy. Because especially as I surrender and commit myself to the Lord and say, Okay, Lord, here I am. Use me. Then he's like, Okay, I'm going to clear out a path for you. It may look impossible, but I'm going to go ahead of you and I'm going to go before you and just trust me. And hey, how about this? Grab a hold of my hand and I need you to close your eyes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, God, I trust you. And so I, because of what I've learned and just how much, how empowering it is to learn who I am and what God has destined, ordained, and actually what Jesus Christ has already gone ahead of me to do it. Like nothing's going to stop. Nothing will stop me from what God's plan is. And and knowing that, I really do want to encourage you guys the same thing. Because God chose you for this timeline, this time to be on the earth, to be in the family that you are. He gave you everything that you need to do exactly what it is that God has called you to do. Just like me. And we can say and question all we want. Lord, this looks impossible. This just doesn't seem right. Um, we can question him and he's okay with that. But if we hold on and we just trust him, he mm -hmm. will guide us through it. And we will get mm -hmm. to the end and we'll look back and be like, oh my gosh. So many times I didn't think I'd make it through and I made it through. Mm -hmm. And that will just keep going until we see the glorious. And that was the word the Lord gave me. Glorious. It will be glorious. And so I just want to encourage you in that. <clears throat> I'm going to close. Wow, I recorded longer than I thought. But I'm going to close with just uh, reading these little notes that I had made you guys. I don't know if you ever got them. But they were just daily notes with a challenge for you guys. Um, so the first one says, God loves to provide for you. And they were actually affirmations that you could have read over yourself mm -hmm. looking in the mirror. And that was what my intention was, was for you to speak an affirmation over yourself and then a challenge for you to help challenge and build your identity. <clears throat> so I'm gonna speak them over you. 
but you could also speak them <clears throat> over yourself. God loves to provide for you, warning Clara. And the challenge was to give um, your brother or your sister a hug for me. Um, the second one, Warren and Clara, you are free from sin and alive in Jesus. The challenge was ask Jesus to forgive you of all your sins and freely receive it. Mm -hmm. The next one, you are a child of God. The challenge was to give your sibling, your brother or sister a hug for me. The next one, Warren and Clara, you have peace with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The challenge was this, say this prayer, Jesus, I ask for your peace in my life forever. And then there's two more. Hope the Holy Spirit lives in you. And you can look in the mirror and say the Holy Spirit lives in me. The challenge was to say this prayer, Holy Spirit, thank you for living in me and helping me. And the last one, warning Clara, you have access to God's wisdom. And the challenge for this one was, say this prayer, Jesus, I ask for your wisdom in my life. And that's it. I'm going to end in a prayer. Father God, Lord, thank you so much for my children. Thank you for <clears throat> blessing me with all three of them, Lord. You knew exactly what each one of them would be going through. You knew exactly what I would go through. And yet you prepared a way for us where there is no way. That you have given us a supernatural sense of peace that surpassed, surpasses all understanding. And that you have given us each, each one of us things that we need. Tools in our tool basket to, or our tool belt. Um, to do what it is that you have set before us to do. Lord, I ask that you please continue to encourage and empower my kids. Lord, empower them through and with the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that you reunite us soon and that your will will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. I just thank you, Father, and in your name. Amen. I love you guys. I miss you so much. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Blessings. Bye.